I can't. I don't know the history of all of them, but I do know as someone that has served on the planning commission as well as served on this side of it as well. To me, there's a tremendous amount of importance to the planning commission. I use the planning commission, and when I go to a meeting, if, I, if there's something that we hear about that's going to be controversial, you can go there and you'll see several commissioners who may. Uh, that's right, and, and so. It gives you an opportunity to listen to your first listening, you might say, of the same thing that we're going to hear in a county commission meeting. Now, without a doubt, you know, there's sometimes I don't always agree with the decision that the planning commission made or the recommendation that they're sending forward, but I've listened to the arguments. I've listened for the cons and listened to the pros, and so when it gets to the county commission, I'm better informed about what that particular request is than I would be if those folks just showed up at a county commission meeting with that request. That's right. yeah. So, do they, do they serve a need? Absolutely, 100%. I, I, I don't think that we can do without the planning commission. Uh, and the planning commission is a recommending body. They serve that purpose as, as a group of citizens to make a recommendation. And then it's up to us, and, and, and again, sometimes we agree with them 100%, and sometimes we don't, but that's the role that we play at the end of the day. So, to get the history of it, if you want to know all that, how it was formed, why, if it's required that it's formed, uh, that it be in place, we can, Joe may know that history, but otherwise we can get that history up for you. We've got the <coughs> documentation, obviously, that created that. There has been changes in the number of seats available, uh, and that has been debated among some of the municipalities, um, and they have made recommendations to the commission. They've been they've made recommendations to the uh, city of Valdosta uh, council. Um, some of which have been contrary one to the other, but those kind of things um, have happened. We still have received some requests. I think uh, it's been debated about whether uh, Remington um, wants a seat, has a seat. Um, all of these, the small communities wanted to have most of them wanted to have representation on there, and there was a debate how many of these issues come before them where they actually have one of their, a project coming from those, or a request coming from those smaller communities. Now we have some who have been on the board over there for a while only to recuse themselves almost every time that there's a vote taken. So they need a representation so that they can abstain. Yeah. I don't really understand that, but that's our theory. Who are you talking about? You know, that, 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 that goes back again, the other one. We've had this could not all that. That goes back to the quality of the appointments that the local officials are making. You make the appointment for someone that's going to do the job and do the job the way the job should be done. Well, rather than it be a popular <clears throat> job. And, and I think if you go back and look at the history, the planning commission has been somewhat of a springboard for individuals to go from there to elected positions, i.e. the chairman, former Mayor John Fred, Tim Carroll, um, so the, a, a number of them, John Page. Well, I think you find out, you know, let me stop you, but I think you find out whether you have a stomach for this side of the table but by serving on the planning commission. But, but, but because of that, and I think it, as a commission, I'm not in your seat, but as a commission, I would think that you would want respected individuals that you appoint to put the litmus test to some of these requests. 
and spend the time and the energy in researching this, not because you're going to agree with them, but because you know that there has been consideration given, whether you agree with it or whether you disagree, Absolutely. and it give, rather than you just say, oh Lord, I'm getting 15 calls on this issue. You get enough calls like it is on these issues as they're coming up. Imagine if you didn't have a planning commission and everything came before you. I, I don't think you would want it if you had it. Yeah. Uh, as I've said, there's a tremendous, to me, there's a tremendous amount of value with the planning commission. Um, you know. What made me think of that, though, was talking about the work session and the ULDC and the changes. And, and I mean, I think it's really vital that we have those folks as many as possible from the Planning Commission and the CBOA to be part of that as, as we can get because, you know, I think it's important that they understand kind of where we're coming from too. I think the only disconnect between the Planning Commission and the Board of Commissioners is sometimes they don't they don't have the, all, all of the information as far as a rezoning case. I mean, I'm just making something up, but, you know, I mean, we, we meet with Steve and where where do we want to see infrastructure at? You know, they, they need to understand all of those components before they make a recommendation to approve or deny. It. So if I don't read more into that, I mean I don't want everybody running out of here saying it's no, to get rid of the planning Your phone's no, gonna be ringing all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you're I think you're right up you know, up to a point. Again, you as a county commissioner have a lot more information than what a planning commission member does just simply because you have access to the county manager and the county staff. So you understand better where that infrastructure is, what the plans for the county is, than say a, uh, a planning commission member. The planning commission member really what, and, and I do get frustrated a bit because really they're supposed to look at land use. Right. That's what they're supposed to look at. They're not supposed to take their personal opinions in about whether this is a good idea or it's a good development or it's not. They're supposed to look at, at the... Then when it gets to... They make a rec recommendation whether it's to approve it or disapprove it. Then when it comes to you, you've got a lot more information from the standpoint, as I said, infrastructure, yeah. growth potential and then that's where we have that slip of difference at is because a lot of times you do have that information that maybe they don't have. Well we've all seen that. You know, well what's the you know, I don't even know what the front of these houses are gonna look like or I don't know what this that, that's that, that, that's not their business. And, and you're going this is land use and that's right. That that's where I get frustrated. I agree with you hundred percent. That's not their job to do that. It's it's not their job to say, well, we need an eight-foot fence versus a six-foot yeah. fence. Yeah. And that, that's you put not, a stone on the front of it, you know, you can, you know, yeah. I'll approve it, but that's if you right. don't, then... It and they get hung up in that. I will, I'll say that. They do. But there again, that's part of that discussion. And what I get out of that, if I go to a zoning case that I feel like it's going to have some issues tied to it, when I go to that, I'm listening and gathering all that in, and I can take that information, <clears throat> then when it gets to us, Say, God, maybe we need to make a recommendation to make this a little bit more acceptable of an eight-foot fence or a six-foot fence or whatever that case might be. It's just information that you've gathered because you've heard it from <coughs> the arguments. But it really is not. The planning commission should be looking at land use purposes only, and that's it. I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. 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 Okay. Is that it? Um, Looking back at your agenda, 